this episode, we're going to look at creating a shopping cart, where we can add different items into our shopping cart list, and as we click the add item, we'll see that the checkout button automatically updates with the quantity. So we can add another item and it updates. And we also have the ability to do some filtering and some sorting. So if we want to see all the prices from high to low, we can make that selection, hit search. We then get an automatic update of all these items and then we can add another one. Or if we want to do some filtering based on the price, maybe we want to find anything that's $2,500 or below, we can do that. And then we could also do something like a laptop selection. And from here, we could also do a search on the text and then we have the item that we want. So we'll hit add to cart. We now have four items in our cart. We can go to checkout. And once we're here, we may say, well, we want another one of these Mac minis. So we'll hit the plus sign a few times. It automatically updates the total count in our cart. And if we scroll down, we can see a total price that this will cost. Perhaps we know that we're going to have some buyer's remorse, so we're going to remove this Mac Pro, and it automatically removes it, it updates the price, and the number of items in our cart. And while we are going to be covering the topic of creating a shopping cart, and just this checkout summary, and we're also going to be diving into some neat tricks on how we can organize our code for dealing with something complex like this kind of filtering. Because doing just a text filtering on itself isn't too bad. However, when you start adding in some custom sorting and also adding in some price selections, as well as other options, this can get very complicated very quickly. And it's important that we create maintainable code, not only for ourselves to be able to work with later to fix any kind of bugs or add new features, but also others who may be touching the code. And so we have a lot to get through in this episode, dealing with the filtering, creating our shopping cart where we can add items to this cart, and then creating this checkout view where we can also take items Notice here, we can increase the number of items, but if we decrease it back, we can decrease it past one. We would have to remove that item if we want to take it out of the cart. And we're going to be building all of this interactivity. And we're going to do all of this without writing a single line of JavaScript. We're only going to be using a fresh Rails 7 application and Hotwire with no additional plugins or libraries. And did you know that you can go to railsstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.